And speaking of student organizations, this past weekend, PRISM held their biannual drag show. And joining me tonight is Kira Hill, one of the performers of the drag show. How are you tonight, Kira? Uh, good. Good, yeah. <laughs> so you're part of the group for your gender taintment, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, can you explain to me a little bit what that name means? So Jame, our choreographer, picked it out. Um, all of us in it are either part of the community or have a passion for dance. Mm -hmm. And it's just about not letting, about mixing masculine and feminine, which is why we all had baseball jerseys on, but we're, all of us were wearing heels. Mm -hmm. Malik was wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. um, so it's all about like clashing it and letting, you know, expression of dance and drag not just be limited to two genders. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the theme of the, of the drag show was home, or it was like throwback, <laughs> as well as masculinity versus femininity, right? I don't necessarily know about the masculine mm -hmm. femininity, but mm -hmm. it was definitely a throwback, which yeah. was a lot of the good music choices and the fashion choices, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did that influence your performance? Uh, mostly based on like the song choices, mm -hmm. at least that much. And I know that we tried to emulate some of the old uh, dance styles that were in there, but we also tried to keep it very like heels and hip hop jazz, which is classic to the style. Mm -hmm. Fun. What song did you choose? We had like four. Oh, really? Uh, we had a Michael Jackson one. We had I Want to Dance with Somebody. Mm -hmm. I know that one because I had to lip sync to that. So <laughs> I had to figure that one out. We had a Destiny Child song. And we had a Missy Elliott song, I think. Fun. Yeah, we just kind of, Jane May just kind of mashed it all together mm -hmm. and we just. Jammed out to it. Out, yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, um, how, do you know how many years the Prism Drag Show has been going on? No, this was mm -hmm. my very first one. Mm. I like wanted to see it, and Jane was like, "Hey, do you want to be in it?" And I was yeah. like, "Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely." So, what did you think? It was terrifying. Because <laughs> um, you kind of like. So we only had four rehearsals mm -hmm. in total. Oh, geez, that is. Not a yeah. lot. <laughs> we had four rehearsals. Our first one wasn't with everybody. Okay. So going into it, we were just like all just, you know, practicing our guts out and then mm -hmm. getting there. For me, it was like I'd done dance stuff before, mm -hmm. but going there and then being backstage and seeing all of the amazing drag queens and kings and mm -hmm. everybody just back there and just prepping and everybody was so friendly. Mm -hmm. And then when you're standing back there and you can like see the audience, that was a terrifying because I'd never performed in front of that big of a crowd. Really? But you've done dance before, right? Yeah, I've done dance and theater. Okay. So it wasn't like the performing, it was like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people and this is a very new experience. Yeah, definitely. Is it one that you think you'll do again? Oh, definitely. Oh, I loved it. I loved the community. I'm not really quiet about, like, I am part of the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to go see it and the fact that I was in it was mm -hmm. so cool. Very nice. Um, can you walk me through your performance and how it felt to perform? I know it was a little bit nerve-wracking, but did it make you feel empowered at all? Yeah, definitely. And I feel like when you're in a heels piece, mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter what gender you are, you feel empowered because mm -hmm. you're standing in those heels and you're just rocking it. And I know especially when Beat It by Michael Jackson, that was the song. That mm -hmm. was their first song. The minute the beat hits, you're like, I got this. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the coolest like things because that was the first thing we ran was to just sit there and you hear the beat and you mm -hmm. just know like, I am the coolest person in this room. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'd love to see a little bit of your performance. We actually have a clip of it with us. Can we roll that tape, please? incredible that drop that you do right there I it, every time I watch <laughs> it it just like <laughs> blows me away 
So did you choreograph for that, or did James choreograph that? No, James choreographed most of it. There was bits of improv for each of us we did. So mm -hmm. Malik's piece in the very beginning, which we got to see, mm -hmm. that was completely improv to him. Um, later on in the piece, about immediately after mm -hmm. I death drop and go through our tutting and stepping, um, we each have different moments mm -hmm. of just improv, mm -hmm. which was really great for each of us, because Desmond, Floyd, uh, Malik, mm -hmm. I, and James all have incredible talent and different styles, and so mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun for the fact that we each just got to like jam out yeah. and do our thing. So do you want to show me how you did that drop? Because I mean, it looks <laughs> terrifying, <laughs> but it, I mean, you survived okay. it, clearly. So it, we weren't originally to do the death drop, okay. um, but we lost some people, so mm -hmm. uh, James taught it to me, and the mm -hmm. first thing is so you lunge. Okay, I lunge too. And what it's gonna be is so you're gonna be turning that way, okay. and then you just kind of fall. Okay. And so your leg is going to bend. And so the basic movement, that's all it is. Like this. So your leg is going to go out here. Oh, oh, OK. And that's all the leg movement you do. Got it, OK. And then the more comfortable you get with it, the sooner you can get is it's a snap leg up and you drop. OK, so it's like you take the hat off. You got to lunge. You got to lunge, right? You yeah. got to do the thing. So when you're going through it, you go mm -hmm. here, and then you drop. <laughs> like that? Yep. And so when you go fast enough, you can get mm -hmm. to the point that you can just kind of sit here and just. Like you actually snap. Whoa, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a lot louder. Uh huh. But most of the fall goes into your hips and then your hands smack it. Uh huh. Which is why it makes so much noise. Okay. But the more comfortable you get, because all I'm doing is just twisting yeah, just and then. Smacking. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Kira. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming on. I want you to show me some room moves later. Okay. But up next, we actually have two CSU students from the chemistry department, and they have some spooky experiment themed Halloween or er, Halloween themed experiments for you.